Yeah. What's going on with y'all? How y'all doing? Good morning, good evening, good night, wherever you are in the world. Hopefully everything's going well with you. Um, I saw something popping up a lot uh, on my timelines today. Just wanted to take a look at it. I'm over here at, uh, where am I at? NBC News. Supreme Court strikes down college affirmative action programs. First, I'm going to say, I just recorded for like, I mean, not recorded. I thought I was recording for like 20 minutes. Turned out I wasn't. It cut off. And, uh, damn. Anyway, I'm going to go. I'm going to try to get back to where it was. You know what I'm saying? Supreme Court strikes down college affirmative action programs. Am I a fan? I'm going to just move down because that video is kind of distracting. Uh, am I happy for this? Yes. Long and short. Um, like Michael, like Martin Luther King, uh, like Martin Luther King once said, um, let's be judged by the content of our character, not the color of our skin. You know what I'm saying? And I know it doesn't only, I know <clears throat> affirmative action doesn't only apply to color of the skin. It also applies to, uh, women. Um, it also applies to, uh, there's also a disability, um, you know, uh, part of it. There's also, a, a, you know, diversity. There needs to be this person, this person, this person, this person, this person. Um, you know, we we need to hire people off of their merit, off of their credentials, off of their achievements, accolades, things like that. Why are we hiring people? Because they fit a box. Because they're they have a disability or because they're transgender or because they're a woman or because they're black or because they're Asian or because they're Indian or gay or like, why are we why do we have all of these titles? like get the person best for the job? If I'm running the business, I want the one best for the job. Like we saw with this, uh, like we saw with the with the with the Ocean Gate guy, didn't he say he didn't want older white veteran uh men to be the captains of the ship and he preferred uh having uh diversity you know all these check marks well how did that go for you you know it's like but anyway uh supreme court on on Thursday, struck down affirmative actions at the UNC and Harvard in major victim in a major victory for conservative activists and end ending the systemic consideration of race in the admissions process. Wow. So exactly what Martin Luther King said. We just said, fuck it. We're not even going to look at your credentials once your race comes in as a certain way. And, you know. This hurts everyone when, 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 when you take in things like that. Think about it. In some communities, the black, in some black communities, the schools are doing terribly. You know, you got places where little boys and little girls can't even read at their grade level. You got some places where um, the, the median average for the school is less than the median average for the school, the whole school, will be less than one. I've seen stories of schools at 0.5, you know. Because somebody who is at the top of a school where the median is 0.5, so say they have a 2.1. Let's just say they're an exceptional standout for that school, right? They have a 2.1. Are you going to send them to Harvard? Are you going to send them to any Ivy League school when they would probably fare much better at a state school, community college? And not saying state school, anything about that. I'm just saying at a regular school or a community college or something that would do them a lot better than to send them there. You know, or even if they're doing exceptionally well at another school and then because Harvard needs to have black quota made and and they can't accept any more Asians that rightfully deserve it you're going to give it to the black kids that are most likely going to end up failing or dropping out 
within the first two years. Within maybe the first year and a half. Because it's an Ivy League school. I think that um I think within the first two years a lot of people do at regular schools. I'm just saying, because this is at Harvard, right? This is at Harvard, so that's why I bring it up. Right? But now I'm gonna show you something where they kind of said the quiet part out loud. Right here. Okay, if you can see this on the screen. Today's Supreme Court decision is a direct attack on black people. Right there, right there. I'm I know I know exactly where this is going. This is a white liberal that thinks that. Oh, I need to look this way. Okay. That thinks that because we're black, we can't earn anything unless it's given to us primarily for the fact that we're black. Right. And like I say, man, this is how the white liberals think, man. This is the same white liberals that that Malcolm X warned us about. You know, but nobody wants to read. Nobody wants to take the time to do a little bit of research. These are the same ones. OK, this is what she said. This is in her own words. Erica Marsh. I don't know who she is. Right. But this is who she and obviously she has some pull. She got five point three million. All right, I'm over here getting two and three views. I know how hard it is to get views, okay? 5.3 million. Today's Supreme Court decision is a direct attack on black people. No black person will be able to succeed in a merit-based system, which is exactly why affirmative action-based programs were needed. Right there. She said the quiet part out loud. That's how all white liberals think. They think we're too stupid to do anything. They think we're too stupid to figure out anything. Therefore, they need to be the savior to black people. And I'm tired of that shit. That shit is so played out. That's why I'd rather live in the South than in the North. Because at least they're going to show their racism up front. Up north, I bet you she probably lives in Seattle, D.C., uh, New York City, California. I bet you she does. But this is what she thinks of black people, and not only her. Okay, I'm going to get into a video. Where I'm going to show you some other stuff. But not only her, but this is what she thinks. Today's Supreme Court decision is a direct attack on black people. No black person will be able to succeed in a merit-based system, which is exactly why affirmative action-based programs were needed. Wow. Wow. La, la, yeah. la, la, wait till I get my money right. Wow. All right. Now, in that same thing, I wanted to bring it over to this video, which, which is I'm a good video. Hold on, hold on, hold on, bro. Hold on, bro. Let me bring you in. All right. So pretty much this is a video that's going to show you how white liberals think. This is an old video. Okay. It's only going to be in 360. That's the best I could do. That's the best that it's offered, actually. <clears throat> but they're going to show you real quick what they really think. Okay. He's going to start off on a campus at uh, UCLA. Berkeley probably and um and these are young kids okay these are young kids they're younger than me this is going to show you how they think how they really think and, and think about it they're at a college campus they're probably taking classes probably going to graduate in a few years and put into a place of authority and this is how they're going to think about people of other colors that work for them right and these are liberals this is california this is liberals this ain't this ain't texas okay and then it's gonna shoot over to harlem and it's gonna show you what's really up let's go i'm here in berkeley california to find out if voter id laws suppress the black vote so it is on the college campus okay and everybody's gonna look at it, it's gonna be white Liberals, just look at what they think of you people. Do you have an opinion on voter ID laws? Uh, yeah, they're usually pretty racist and <laughs> they're bad. I think voter ID laws are a way to perpetuate racism. Would you say they're, would you go as far as say they're, they're, those laws are racist? For sure. Do you think it suppresses the uh, African American vote? Definitely. 
uh, because they're less likely to have state IDs. Minority voters are less likely to have the kinds of IDs that have been. Um... So we won't have IDs. We don't. We can't get state IDs. Why? We can't afford it. The fuck, yo described or required these type of people don't live in areas with easy access to dmvs or other places where they can get these type of people don't live in areas with easy what the f yo what are you talking about bro like i just want y'all to see this is what they really think okay we can't get access to where dmvs everybody know where their dmv is everybody know where their town dmv is you need an id to do anything Need an ID to go sign up at the library. Need an ID to take your kids to school. Need an ID to sign up for a job, sign up for school, go to the doctor's office, buy alcohol, buy lottery tickets. Uh by Sudafed? What the fuck? Yo. Get identification. You can always get IDs um, you do over the internet. Does that also would make it difficult for, for black people in particular? Yeah, you have to have access to the internet. You have to be able Yo. Now we don't have access to the internet, bro. Like I said, man, this is what they think. And there's a whole lot of them. Able to pay an internet service provider for certain fees. Do you think that's harder? Bro, internet is like 80, 85 dollars, maybe under 50 dollars some places, depending on the package. You, what are you talking about? But see, for black people to go online, well, IDs. I feel like they don't have the knowledge of how, of like how it works. A lot of people have smartphones. Hold up, hold up, how it works. And listen to what she said. She said, I feel feel like listen I have the knowledge for certain fees do you think that's harder for black people to go online well IDs? i feel like they don't have i feel like so she really believes this this is something she believes the knowledge of how of like how it works a lot of people have smartphones but you might not have data for most my smartphone has data what are you talking about it's not an iphone fuck iphone but it has data. <laughs> All the iPhone people like, oh, fuck this channel. Fuck this channel. Unsubscribe. <laughs> I gives no fuck. To the communities, they don't really know what is out there just because they're not aware or like they're not informed. I also think there's a repression of like black voting with um, how they how if you're a convicted felon, like you're not allowed to vote and everything. And when you look at swing states like Florida, so every black man is a convicted felon. Every black person's a convicted felon. What the fuck are you talking about? What are you talking about? And like I said, he's on a college campus. Look how young these people are. These people are young and he's probably like two, three years old. I don't know exactly. Probably like two, three years. She's young. She's younger than me. And that's what she believes. That's what they believe. Y'all don't get it though, man. Y'all don't get it though. Y'all don't get it though. Motherfuckers gonna look at me like I'm crazy. How they, how if you're a convicted felon, like you're not allowed to vote and everything. And when you look at. Every black person is not a convicted felon though. Swing states like Florida. Florida's a swing state. That's a huge population of the, of the like African Americans. Florida is a huge population of African Americans now. What the fuck is she talking about? Yo, man. Now I think is when they gonna flip it. Now let's see. Now let's now let's see if I'm the only black person saying this. Now I'm here in East Harlem to ask black people their thoughts on what you just heard. Do you have ID normally? Do you carry ID around? Yes, I have state ID. Do you carry ID? Yes, I do. Do you know anybody who any black person doesn't carry ID? No. Everyone that I know has ID. Why would they think we don't have ID? <laughs> they think a lot more than that sister i'm telling you but i'm telling you she's probably and all of them are probably uh i'm not gonna say it, dare i say it part of the problem that's a lie why would you why would i say that uh it's not a lie say that do you have id yes 
because I have my ID and my friends have their ID. So like, exactly. we know what we need to carry around. See, everybody that I know. Ev everybody walks with ID. You get that shit. You need that shit to, to, like I said, for school, for jobs, for 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 identification when you go to the doctor's office, like for basic things. But they probably don't think that we do that type of shit. They don't think we take our kids to the doctors or they don't think we take our kids, you know, I don't know, to the doctor, to the dentist, to the ophthalmologist, to the older, the one for the air, ophthalmologist and the odorologist. I don't know. I don't want to say that wrong. Optometrist. I don't want to say it wrong. Somebody going to cap. Have ID. Like, that's one of the things you need to walk around with New York with. Yeah. The ID. Do you know any black adult who does not have ID? No, I don't. Is it a weird thing either. to even say that? Yes, it yes. is. What is this, some, some type of uh, trick candy cameras? I like know, that? right? That's the only thing I brought with me. Those are legit, yeah. those are legit IDs. I heard a lot also that uh, black people can't figure out how to get to the DMV. Really? Is that, is that, what does that say to you? I know. Everybody knows where the DMV is in their town, bro. So they think when, you, when they go to the hood, Everybody driving around with a with a with an unlicensed, unregistered, uninsured car. Everybody. What's that? One twenty fifth. Do you know where the ID of the DMV is, right here? It's on one hundred twenty fifth. One twenty fifth. You know where to get there? Yeah. Do you have a problem getting there if you have to get there? They boat just set it off back. They said, "Yo, where is it?" They boat just says on one one twenty fifth. I know these sound like silly questions. You know how to get the DMV? Of course. You know where it is? Yes. You can get there? Uh-huh. No problem. No problem. Just checking. Okay. And I also heard a lot that black people, especially poor black people, have no access to the internet, can't figure out. That's what they said, bro. So I'm not even, I don't even know what I'm on. I'm not on the internet. I'm on the outer net. I don't know. How to use the internet? <laughs> that's, that's, a, that's just... Stupidity, honestly. Everybody has access That's to the ignorance. internet. Even a little kid can figure out how to work the internet. I had access to the internet for years. You know how to use it properly, exactly. right? Exactly. I do it at work. So but she be voting the wrong way, and that's why she got to get answer these questions. She, I can tell you for a fact. She, she votes the wrong way. And by the wrong way, I mean not the right way. Of course, I know how to use it. Smart. My kids know how to use it. They all have iPads, iPods, whatever. Your phone has data. Mm -hmm. You can actually unlimited, with, unlimited data. Mm -hmm. I think everybody's phone. I think most packages come with unlimited data. So, for people to just sit there and be like, "Oh, well, they can't do this, and they don't have access to this," bro, my phone probably newer than yours, bro. It's not an iPhone, but my phone's probably newer than yours. Uh Cause I got the S twenty three U. That's as new as it gets. Unless you got the fourteen Pro Max, and that's fine. Whatever. But um, we have access to packages just like you do. Pause. But where we could get unlimited data. You have internet at home. You can get unlimited. Like, I don't know, man. But today's day and age. I mean, in twenty twenty three, I'm not surprised. Like, that's almost how I expect them to look because of a lot of other factors and reasons that I could dive into later. But for now, let's get back to the video. I use my phone as a hotspot. What does that say to you for the people who have this perception of life? Um, uh, they're pretty much ignorant. Uh, that's why. My Didn't I say that? Thoughts. I just think that's ignorant. 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 That's the very, word here. Seems to be pretty unanimous. Ignorant. ignorant. Very, very ignorant. Does it sound racist for somebody to say that? I, I think it is a little racist because, you know, you're putting um, people in a category and you have no idea what you're talking about. They stereotyping. But when I stereotype, people want to get mad. They stereotyping too. It's what everyone does. We all stereotype. About. Maybe a little bit of racist in it, but like I said, I think it's more stupidity, stupidity and ignorance. Stupidity and ignorance. Somebody, like, That's what it well, is. It. It's stupidity and ignorance. Like, it's really, it can't be racist because there's no way holding me back. Like, to me, it's just you're stupid. You're an asshole because that's what you really think of a whole combined set of people. You're not even saying some because there's some white people. The same things apply. They can't afford internet. They can't afford internet. They can't afford, they, they, they on welfare. 
on welfare, they on food stamps, they on every type of government assistance, whether it be food, um, whether it be housing, whether it be uh, uh, stipends or whatever you want to call it. Like they're on every time. Like, so to say it's a whole race of black people like, bro, you're crazy. Like there's that going on within your own community. Like, and you're going to say a whole race of that. Like you're crazy. There's black billionaires. There's black millionaires. There's black entertainers and, and all that shit that like they should know like everybody. So what they think is just them. And then it's just the poorest of the poor that can't even get to the DMV. That can't even get to the motherfucking can't even get to the motherfucking um, in, to, to be able to afford Internet and shit. Like what the fuck? Like, come on, man. Come on now, dog. Come <laughs> on, man. Just them because they black saying that they don't got it. What people are they talking to? What are who are these people talking to? Yeah, you I think a- that's pretty much the unanimous thing. All right. Um. So yeah, getting back into the Supreme Court's decision, we do not, we should not hire people <laughs> based on the color of their skin. Okay, we hire them based on their character their merit, their achievements, their accolades, okay? Not based on their color. Oh, shit. (laughs) Yo, awkward. Yeah, it it was. Supreme Court rules against affirmative action with affirmative action hire sitting right there, which some people can say uh, Supreme Court justice I'm not saying I said some people will say Supreme Court Justice Kentanji Jackson, I believe is her name, was an affirmative action hire. Now, she was also, as I believe, the first black woman chosen to be on the Supreme Court Justice. Or it's chosen to be a Supreme Court justice. And for that, she has paved the way for many more to come along. And I hope that herself, along with all of them, have been based, that their decision to be be there be based on their merits, their achievements, their accolades, and not on the color of their skin. That's all I'm going to say. But I do think her for being there and the way that she's paved for all of the other women that look like her okay but the joke was still funny okay rules against her (laughs) that was still funny i don't give a fuck and for the last thing i'm gonna leave y'all with a little bit uh quick sound bite i couldn't find it short enough where i could just find it quickly but uh i got a quick one uh from malcolm x himself so let's take a listen Anytime you throw your weight behind a political party that controls two-thirds of the government and that party can't keep the promise that it made to you during election time and you are dumb enough to walk around continuing to identify yourself with that party, you are not only a chump, but you're a traitor to your race. Amen. Amen. And what kind of alibi do they come up with? They try and pass the buck to the Dixiecrats. Now, back during the days when you were blind, deaf, and dumb, ignorant, politically immature, naturally you went along with that. But today, as your eyes come open and you develop political maturity, you're able to see and think for yourself. And you can see that a Dixiecrat is nothing but a Democrat in disguise. And that's all I wanted to leave y'all with. Um, y'all let me know in the comments. I mean, y'all think affirmative, affirmative action benefits? You think affirmative action was right to be taken away with? Do you think we need affirmative action in society? Um, do you think that black people need affirmative action to actually be someplace? You think that they, <clears throat> you think that uh, we can't do anything for ourselves and we need you know and i'm not saying some don't you know what i'm saying we're 13 percent, so it's going to look a lot smaller than 60 something percent than the bottom of that you know it's going to look you know but do you think that the only like you know i don't know 
But me personally, I don't believe in affirmative action. Um, let's not have it. Uh, let's do everything based on character, based on merit, based on 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 achievements. Let's like fuck away with. I don't care what boxes you check off. I want the person best for a job. Like I said, if I'm if I'm if I'm I'm not gonna use Ocean Gate. If I'm gonna use if I'm gonna be if I'm running a pilot company, and oh damn yo, this went way longer than I thought. All right, yo, if I'm running a pilot company real quick and um, if I'm running a plane company and uh, fucking the, 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 the pilots I'm picking, I want the best of the best. I don't want the ass of the ass. I don't want the bottom of the bottom. I don't want any. No, <laughs> no puns intended. I don't want people just based on what check marks they're filling out. And with that, I'm out, y'all, yo. Till the next one. Y'all be safe.